Come and meet the letter people. Mr. M and Mr. T. Mr. N and Mr. H. And Mr. F. Don't forget me. Since 1972, elementary school children have been introduced to the letters of the alphabet and their sounds through the Letter People. For nearly 30 of those years, a major component of the Letter People program was the Letter People TV series. Come and meet the Letter People, come and visit the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. Originally created as a locally based program in 1974 by the St. Louis PBS station, KETC, the program quickly spread to other PBS stations across the country. The final new episode was produced in 1976, but the show remained on the air almost constantly up through the 1990s. club over this any day. Quiet! The show used what many people consider to be primitive puppets, especially when compared to more complex puppets such as the Muppets. When the show first debuted, the Letter People Land sets were extremely basic with mostly dark backgrounds. Over time, however, new, not incredibly complex, but more colorful sets were introduced. Joke I ever heard. Oh yeah? Well, what about your music? It made me wish for a pair of earmuffs. Oh, now that wasn't nice, Miss A. I'm Mr. N with the noisy nose. A total of six of the episodes of the series were produced. Twenty-six of the episodes introduced children to each letter person. This was done mainly by having the letter person sing their respective song originally created for the classroom program. When I get happy, songs, as well as clips from the three letter people who, for an unknown reason, did not sing their respective songs in the TV series, have been uploaded to this profile. Boy, if you stick with me, you find you will be stuck. 28 of the episodes dealt with the letter people working together to form new sounds, words, and sentences. Right, Freddy. A short sound and a long sound. I don't understand. You vowels already have one sound. Yes, our short sound. Now, we have a long sound, too. It's the same as our name. Well, then, your long sound is A? Correct. My long sound is A. <laughs> A major feature of word building was The Catching Game, which originated as a TV game show hosted by Monty Swell. I want you to sound out the word and tell me which letter person are you going to call out here to get into the starting clue box? Mm, well, let me see. Sap. 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 Well, the starting sound I hear is the same sound that starts Super Socks. Oh, I'm going to call out that superhero again, Mr. S, to get into the starting field. A sensational flaw! As the episodes progressed, however, the letter people began playing the game in various everyday situations instead of just on TV. Currently, more and more content from these episodes are being added to this profile as often as possible. The remaining six episodes, entitled The Letter People Hall of Fame, were reviews of previously learned concepts using mostly footage from previous episodes. Because these episodes do not highlight anything new, there are no plans to post anything from them on this profile. 
Shupa Sleuth, Seeker of Truth, and part-time night watchman here at the Letter People Hall of Fame. Yes, the Letter People Hall of Fame. A place dedicated to the memory of great and sometimes silly events that have taken place right here in Letter People Land. At first I took this job because I work alone. That gives me the chance to practice wearing all the clever disguises I need for my detective work. But I soon found out that the Letter People Hall of Fame is chock full of great stories. So, here's hoping that you enjoy revisiting some awesome memories from the Letter People TV show, right here on the Letter People Land YouTube profile. Hey,